Merry Christmas, everybody. This is Megaherb here, playing River City Ransom for the normal Nintendo Entertainment System. In here we have Slick, with his ransom letter, basically telling us how big of an asshole he is. So now we know we have to kick the shit out of this asshole. But before we do this, I am going to show you the lovely town of River City. Now first we are in Crosstown High School, where Alex grew up. The first town you shall visit upon entering the world of River City is the Grotto Mall. Once you arrive, your first order of business should be to stop at the Rise and Shine Cafe. Their waffles are unmatched in appearance and texture. They contain dark chocolate M&Ms, which causes the waffles to melt in your mouth, but not in your hand. Next, the sushi bar in River City is the finest sushi cuisine you can find. Upon entering, be sure to order the conger eel which while most people would be put off by the concept of eating raw eel, River City's Sushi Bar serves only the most delectable eels in the land, and guarantees that their eels' texture and flavor are comparable to that of a stratocumulus cloud. Last but not least, stop in at the Grotto Bookstore for their precious novels containing ancient fighting techniques used by the Ming Dynasty back in 1368. The most vaunted of techniques is Dragon Feet, which allows any mortal man to kick three times in the time it takes a mortal man without knowledge of his wondrous technique to throw one. Stone Hands is a similar technique, which involves your fists, but kicking is cooler than punching, therefore purchase Dragon Feet only. Acro Circus was a technique used by the Ming Dynasty trapeze artists. It allows you to attack your bloodthirsty adversaries by jumping and forming your body into the shape of a cannonball. Unfortunately, this ability sucks ass, hence why it was only used by the trapeze artists, and not skilled warriors of the dynasty. Purchase only if you are a complete pussy. If you happen to be a wasp, stop in at Shea Wale. Within its hallowed halls, you can purchase the finest veal of the land, aptly named Veal Wale. Wale himself clubs the baby calves to death with only the finest redwood clubs that money can buy, and sprinkles a secret blend of the most rare Colombian herbs and spices available for optimal flavor. A true experience for even the most sophisticated veal connoisseur. Next on your to-do list is to give my good friend Mao a visit. Be sure to dine on Mao's world-famous chow mein. This delicacy is essential to your quest. It raises your kick stat by one, which makes your dragon's feet technique even more valuable. The plate Mao serves his food on happen to be made of white chocolate, so do not be alarmed when first witnessing patrons chow down on the chow mein dish. If after winding and dining on fine cuisine you happen to feel faint, head over to the Jones's Pharmacy. Walk over to the sexy lady at the counter and ask for a Karma Jolt. Normally you would require a prescription for this powerful beverage, but simply use the charm of your pompadour to win her heart and convince her to sell you one. Upon consuming your newly found energy drink, you will find that your karma has been sufficiently jolted, causing you to feel energy in places that most people don't have places. Use only in emergency situations, and you shall never fail during your quest. Use standard procedure when the voluptuous Roxy is speaking to you, and stare at her succulent breasts as she prattles on about unnecessary story elements. Once she vanishes into thin air, head down the stairs and lay a hurt down on Benny and Clyde. Once you sample the proper amount of Mao's chow mein, these clowns will go down quite easy. Every time you overcome these foes, they drop $2.50 each of their lunch money. You will want to grind off these guys for the majority of your time in River City and their difficulty to amount the lunch money ratio is the most beneficial to you and your cause. Once you have sufficiently ground off of Benny and Clyde, please proceed across the Capitol Avenue Bridge. Try to resist the urge to commit suicide while running along the railing. While traveling your way through the Armstrong Thruway, look for a magical shop. While most of the wares are hideously overpriced, multiple Isis scrolls are a worthwhile investment. Each one raises your throw stat by 20, so at the cost of 1 Excalibur or 1 Zeus's Wand, you can gain 100 or 200 throw points respectively. However, if you possess Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, be sure to pick up all of these unusual items, or else the universe shall implode onto itself, thusly meaning that you are to blame for the end of the world. Upon arrival at Flatirons Mall, you shall notice the bookstore has a new technique from the Ming Dynasty called Fatal Steps. This allows you to jump up and down on a fallen foe. While entertaining, it is not necessary to complete your quest. After passing part one of the Flatiron Strip Mall, feel free to check out the Happy Shoes Store. And while the items raise your kick and agility stat, the Texas boots are the only item worth purchasing. While these boots are more cost efficient than Mao's chow mein, they are not as delicious, therefore use discretion when deciding how you wish to raise the majority of your kick stat. 
Feel free to ignore all the other stores in this district unless you have a steak, toy, or CD fetish and continue to on towards River City High. Do not be deceived by the patterns of the malls in River City, as you can actually go left at this junction. If you desire a teabagging, this shop, the teabag, will be for you. However, if you are a heterosexual male, such as myself, you will want to munch on Kate's cookie instead. After you have had all of Kate's cookie you desire, you will most likely want a cigarette or a means to wash the gunk off of your face. As this is an NES game and tobacco doesn't exist outside of Metal Gear, the latter option is the only one. But before washing up, however, head over to the Oak Hill Bookstore and considering purchasing the Grand Slam ability, for it allows you to pummel your foe with three consecutive weapon strikes. And, if you like pounding people in the head with chains and lead pipes as much as I do, this ability is worth obtaining. Last, and most definitely least, is the Javelin Man ability. This allows you to throw a fallen adversary like a football, spiraling them in a straight path. While with your throw strat high as a kite, this ability is quite powerful, but at $78.25 it is a complete ripoff, so do not buy this ability simply out of spite. Now that the gunk has nearly cemented itself to your face, proceed into Pop's Health Club. For the low, low price of $3.50, you get to see 8-bit nudity. If you're a female or a homosexual male that gets their jollies from chunky male video game characters, get your lubricant of choice and behold the wonders of Alex's firm posterior. If you happen to not be returned on by this, or are a heterosexual male like myself, it is still worth your while, as relaxing in the sauna nets you 15 willpower points and 30 stamina, with the potential for 8 points added onto your max stamina, and an excellent spot to raise your HP. And finally, at long last, we have made it to River City High. Unfortunately, I cannot give you a tour of the school, as you must defeat every boss you can face thus far in order to enter. I shall defeat these horrible people in the next episode. Until then, I hope you enjoy your stay in beautiful River City, and have yourself a pleasant evening.